Well, I've been enjoying this time, haven't you? And just a reminder, we are taking your questions for Dr. Jerry Johnston and dealing with many of them at Crossroads 360 because the space is limited. But I'm going to start with a quote right from your book, Jerry. Demons work feverishly in our world today because they know there is an appointed time for their doom and punishment. Well, I often think while well, we take a vacation, they don't. While well, Christians kind of give sometimes a half-hearted effort, demons don't. And we know that principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, they are deployed. They're deployed from the highest to the lowest level of society. And they are particularly working against anyone who's attempting to do something for Jesus Christ. To live for God. Here's a question. <clears throat> My mom, now in her 90s, has always had ESP and could feel when people were going to die. She would hear voices, including those of the dead. She feels there is a higher supernatural spirit, but has never claimed Christ as her savior. What does this all mean? Well, 2 Timothy 3, 7, as Jannies and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also withstand the truth. Let's make no confusion. Satan it tries to imitate. And remember, Ian Bound says the closer he can get to the true, he wants to destroy the value of the genuine. Mm -hmm. It's the art of imitation. So it has to be attractive. Yeah, it of course it can. It has to be compelling. Right. And, angel and of light. You better believe, exactly. He is the angel of light. We have a tendency to see some kind of gothic, horrible thing. Remember, Lucifer means beautiful. His composition was a mobile rainbow and emanating from him was a thousand perfectly coordinated orchestras. If you take Ezekiel 28 literally, that's the composition of the leader of the dark world. All the more so that believers need to get this book and they need to understand what our armor is and how we can have confidence, confidence in battle. And beware of the deceiver. Now, I've met many people, uh, even who profess to be Christians, who seem to have this, what they will call a gift. Uh, what do you say to that, Jerry? People who can see into the future and seem to have knowledge about things. Well, you know, take it back to the Word. We don't see any gift of looking into the future from God's Word. There is discernment, and you know, God gives us a vision to move forward, mm -hmm. but to, to postscript someone's death or what's going to happen, uh, we're taking a stand where scripture does not. It could be very dangerous. Now here's a, a woman who, who's asking, how can we stop physical attacks from Satan? And she gives an example from Easter 2011, preparing to go to church, drying her hair. She said, I was literally thrown to the floor, six feet away from my chair. My husband thought I'd had an electric shock. She talks about being in the bath and, and feeling a pressure. She said the, the water was to her lips. And she said, with great difficulty, I said, Jesus, do something. I sometimes find this scary. Well, I would find that scary too. I would too. And, and again, we, we take every experience and we bring it back to the Word. And I will tell you, I've had 9,000 emotions in my Christian life and <laughs> I learned not to trust any of them. Okay. I trust the facts of God's Word. You know, some days I wake up and don't even know what city I'm in, but I do know there's a God in heaven who's put His Holy Spirit within me. It's not me. because of your mental health. It's because <laughs> you're traveling all the time. <laughs> Okay, I have my hymn book open. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood. Yes. Power in the blood. <laughs> Would you or evil a victory win? There's power in the blood. Revelation 12, 11. They overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. How do we apply this, Jerry? One of the long-term viewers of Crossroads, uh, Huntley Street, called me yesterday. I got a lot of calls yesterday. But she very wisely said, as you teach the armor, Jerry, don't forget to emphasize the blood. Yes. And I really thanked her for her call because when you strictly exegete that text, we forget that there are multiple verses like Revelation 1-5, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins through his own blood. His own the blood. classic you gave in 12-11. The blood of Jesus Christ is something we emphasize. It is something we bask in humbly because we are cleansed past, present, and future through the blood of Christ. And their sins and iniquities, David wrote, I will remember no, no more. more. What wonderful? a promise. 
Well, this may surprise you, but uh, Jerry has a whole chapter in his book on how God uses demons. Maybe we'll have time to get into that next program. That would be great. Okay? But you can read it for yourself, get your copy of the book, and keep those questions coming.